Hey guys, so just a friendly reminder before starting the video, we are hosting an international giveaway for the first time in collaboration with Versys.com and Mike O'Brien, where we will be giving away not just one, but three smartphones, namely the S21 Ultra, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the OnePlus 9 Pro. Participating is very easy, just click in the link given in the description and follow the steps to win a brand new smartphone. So all the best to everyone, and now back to the video. While Samsung is generally credited for making the best Android smartwatches, its lack of Google Play Store support in favor of companies in-house Tizen OS has always been a big miss. Well, that is about to change because Samsung just launched the Galaxy Watch 4 series that runs on the new Wear OS platform co-developed with Google. This time around, we get two new Galaxy Watch Series 4, the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Watch 4 Classic, which makes it even more interesting. Anyways, let me quickly unbox them. And as you can see, the Watch 4 looks similar to its Active Series from the company, whereas the Watch 4 Classic looks like a regular Galaxy Watch with the signature rotating bezels. I have the 40mm configuration of the Watch 4, but you can also opt for the bigger 44mm option too. Likewise, the Classic Edition comes in a larger 42 or 46mm body. The Watch 4 has an aluminium case, making it comparatively lightweight than the stainless steel-cased Watch 4 Classic. So your purchase decision is pretty clear here. Fancy a compact and sporty design? Well, the standard Watch 4 is for you, but if you prefer a relatively premium smartwatch experience with a bold look, then the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic is where it's at. Still and all, no matter which one you end up getting, durability is not going to be an issue since these pair of wearables are MIL standard 810G certified and has 5ATM and IP68 rated against dust and water damage too. Up front, there's either a 1.2 inches or 1.4 inches Super AMOLED screen. The Watch 4's display is guarded by Corning's Gorilla Glass DX Plus, whereas the Watch 4 Classic gets the Gorilla Glass DX protection. Okay, with that out of the way, let's now talk about the crown jewel of these smartwatches, the Wear OS 3. Combining the best of Samsung's Tizen with Google's Wear OS has been exactly what the Android smartwatch space needed for a long time, and the two have finally stepped up to the challenge. While Google officially named this co-developed platform Wear OS 3, Samsung prefers to call it Wear OS powered by Samsung instead. First unveiled at the I.O. 2021 a couple of months ago, Google promised a slew of improvements on this platform including better battery life, up to 30% faster app loading times, um, fluid animations and more. After briefly playing around with these smartwatches, I definitely noticed superior responsiveness on the Watch 4 series compared to the Tizen-based Watch 3 from last year. But the difference I'm talking about is not significant enough to dismiss the legacy of Tizen OS right away. Furthermore, if you have noticed the similarity between this UI and UX and Samsung's One UI, that is because the Watch 4 series gets a One UI Watch 3 skin on top. What this means is that this is not how stock Wear OS 3 looks like, which leaves other smartwatch makers with the option to really personalize their products. Or not. Also, this is a strictly Android platform, meaning that the Watch 4 and the Watch 4 Classic are not iOS compatible, at least for now. Anyway, um, by far the biggest win Wear OS 3 brings to the Watch 4 series has to be the Play Store support. As a result, I can finally enjoy Google Maps on a Samsung smartwatch and a bunch of other third-party apps too. Besides the software upgrade, these smartwatches are powered by Samsung's new Exynos W920 chipset paired with 1.5 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. Based on a power-efficient 5 nanometer structure, this chip promises a 20% faster CPU and a 10-fold faster GPU performance than the Exynos 9110 on the Watch 3 and the Watch Active 2. Okay, on to the health tracking side of things, the Watch 4 lineup is no slouch either. From over 90 workout modes, um, sleep tracking to blood oxygen monitoring, it's all here. But that's almost too basic for a flagship smartwatch in 2021, right? Thankfully, Samsung is debuting a bunch of interesting health tracking capabilities here. 
One of them is the 3-in-1 bioactive sensor which includes a optical heart rate, electrical heart and bioelectrical impedance analysis sensor to monitor your blood pressure level, heartbeat irregularity, uh, blood oxygen level and something called body composition. With this, the Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic can measure everything from your body fat, uh, skeletal muscle and body water level in a matter of seconds. This time around, uh, blood pressure and ECG monitoring get a wider availability as well, uh, 4D countries to be very specific. Still, regions like Nepal and India are not on that list, while blood pressure management is not acceptable in the US either. Okay, moving on, Samsung is also introducing snore detection on its smartwatches for the first time. Under this, your smartphone monitors your snoring habits, whereas the watch keeps track of the SpO2 level to record your sleeping habits. Despite all the feature upgrades, Samsung is still promising up to 40 hours of battery life across all the variants. Naturally, the 40 and 42mm configurations host a smaller battery, um, contrary to the one on the 44 and 46mm options. There's also an LTE variant which should eat up the battery even more. Regardless, they support WPC-based 5W wireless charging like last year's Galaxy Watch 3. So guys, that was it for my brief hands-on impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and the Watch 4 Classic. Uh, from the new Wear OS platform, body composition tool and a handful of other upgrades, there are a lot of things to get excited by on these Android smartwatches. I will be coming up with their detailed review in comparison with the Watch 3 as well, so stay tuned for that video and thank you so much for watching.